In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a new Mobius assignment. Mobius assignments are created from the assignment editor, which is accessed from the content repository. To create a new assignment, I can do it in two ways. First way is I can go to my current class source. I can click on Lessons and Assignments. I can select then the unit that I want to create my new assignment in. In this case, I'll use trinomials and polynomials. And from here, I'm going to go down to the bottom in this pane, click the Create New menu, and select Assignment. Alternatively, I can go from the top of the content repository and click Create New, select Assignment, and then again, select the unit that I want to use to create my new assignment. So here we have the assignment editor. The first field is the assignment name. So you can change it from new assignment. So I will call this one polynomials quiz one. If you want, you can add a short name because sometimes there's space limited on the display within Mobius. And so if you have a longer assignment name, you can provide a short name that Mobius will reference. You can also add a description of the assignment in the description field. As well, you can expand the text to show at the head of each page field. And in here, this is something that will kind of act as like a header on each page of the assignment. And lastly, you can expand the field and enter some text into the text to show on the results page for when the student submits the assignment and they'll have custom text on their results page. So after you fill in the fields on the choose name tab of the assignment editor, you can jump over to the next tab, which is select questions. In this tab, this is where you can actually add content to your Mobius assignment. Because your assignment is empty when you start, you can use these quick shortcuts on the assignment editor page so you can import a question from your content repository. You can author a new question, which brings up the question editor, or you can create a new question group. So I'm going to start by importing a question. So from here, it takes me to a shortcut to my content repository. I'm going to go from my current class and I'm going to maybe select questions. And I kind of have an idea of what questions I want to add. I know they're near the bottom. So I'm going to select maybe these few questions here to import questions. And to get them into my assignment, I will click import. And here they are. Something to note with question groups and assignments is that if I were to import a question group from my content repository into this assignment, those questions are just simply imported individually, just like they are here when I imported individual questions. If you want to create a question group unique to this assignment, you can go to add and then new question group. And then from here, from the question group arrow, I'm going to go to import question or I can create a new question using the question editor. But if I import questions, I can then select my question, my existing question group. I'm going to select all of those questions from that question group and import. And then that then imports these questions as a question group into my assignment. While working with this question group that I've created in my new assignment, I can then select the question group arrow. I can go to properties. I can rename that question group if I want it to be named something more specific to this assignment. I can then also choose the option to randomly select a certain number of questions to display. So if I select that, a drop down then appears where I can select how many questions of the total number of questions in this question group that I want to appear in this assignment. And then I can then customize the point allotment for each question within this question group. Some other helpful things in the assignment editor are the fact that you can click and drag the order of the questions in the assignment. So in the navigation pane, I can click and drag this subtraction question and I can put it down to the fourth position if I would like. And I can do the same thing within uh, question groups. I can also change the point allotment of the overall assignment. So if I wanted this question, this simple addition question to be worth more than one point, I can change this at this point to say two if I wanted one point per response area, for example. This change is then reflected in my total points field of the assignment editor. Another thing that I can do is for each question, I can delete it from here. I can also edit the question if I want. So I can open this up and this then reveals the question editor where I can then customize the question to suit this assignment if I want it to be different from the one that I imported or I want to make a change for whatever reason. Anytime you make a change, you can then click save. And if you're happy with the layout of your assignment and the point total and the order of the questions, you can then jump over to the third tab of the assignment editor, which is the properties tab. And from here, you can decide what type of assignment it is, choosing from an anonymous practice, homework or quiz, proctored exam, mastery dialogue, or study session dialogue. And then you can then continue to select the assignment properties throughout all, using all of these fields. 
And you can check out the help topic called Define Assignment Properties to learn more about the details of these fields that affect how your students complete their assignment. So once you're happy with this activity, you can click Save to continue working on it or click Save and Close to exit. Any warnings that might be specific to your assignment, say if a question field, if a question is empty or there is no content or there's um, other, other issues with the design of your assignment, these will appear here and you can edit them as needed. Otherwise, you can click Save and Close to return to the content repository. And your new assignment is now visible within the unit that you use to create it. And that's how you create a new assignment in Mobius. Thanks for watching. We hope you found this video to be helpful. Want to see what else you can do in Mobius? Be sure to check out the links to the Mobius Online Help in the video description, as well as our other Mobius video guides. Subscribe to the Digital Ed channel to be the first to know when a new video comes out. And don't forget to hit that like button.